buttons are working on or have mastered, a file area, which is similar to the one on your website where you can put other documents for your students. Now, the lesson history is just a different way to look at the calendar. It shows a reverse chronological order of all the lessons that you've taught, along with the notes you've left on how those lessons went, or any private notes. By the way, on that calendar, after you teach each lesson, you have an opportunity to reconcile the lesson. And you can do these all at once, but here's how to do it one by one. And you'll be able to put in notes about how the lesson went, say, you know, remember to practice your scales or something to work on next time. And then you can put here private notes just for you that your students won't be able to see. And the great thing here is you can check the box to send email to student with lesson notes. If you check that box, it will email these notes to the parent and the student. And that way, the parents can keep informed on what's going on in the student's lesson without you having to give them a phone call or send a note that the student will never give to their parents or whatever other situations there are. But it's just a great way. Parents love receiving these emails and keeping up to date on what's happening with their students. Now, let's take a look at the billing menu. On the transaction log, you can see a list of all of your students, all of the families, I should say, since billing is done by family, and it'll show you how many or how much money the student either owes or has paid in advance. Now, Dustin Davis, you can see, owes me $120. And if I click that, it will show me a list of all of the lessons and payments that he's made that make up that amount. And you can click Add Payment or Add Fee to charge him additional fees. If he pays you, just clicking that Add Payment link there or from the Payments Received menu, you can enter in the date you received the payment, the amount, how he paid you, and also send a receipt through email to that parent. And the parent can also log in if you give them a username and password so that they can see their payment history, and they can even pay you online with their credit card if you've enabled that option. So you won't have to run to the bank to deposit checks anymore or worry about that. And another way that really increases the professionalism of your studio on the financial side is the invoicing system. You can create invoices for your students that you can either email to them or print out and give to them that will give them a really easy way to see how much they owe and a very professional way if it's uncomfortable. A lot of teachers have you feel uncomfortable talking to neighbors and friends if, if that's who you teach about financial matters and this makes it a lot more simple. So here's a, a sample invoice and you can see that it totals up all the lessons. This person is charged per lesson. So it has a charge for each of those lessons. And then the total at the bottom. And you can put in your own notes at the bottom of each invoice of what you want it to say. And if you do have the automatic credit card payments enabled, it'll have a pay now link right here where your students can click to pay you online with their credit card or bank account. One other great feature about invoicing is that you can set up automatic invoicing. So Again, while you're sleeping, Music Teacher's Helper will automatically determine how much each of your students owes, will create the invoice for you, and email the invoice to your students, just all by itself. And you can set up, of course, when it will do that and what parameters it's going to use to, for the, to determine how much the student owes. But very easy to use and just a, you just set it and never have to worry about it again. It handles all that for you. You have a mileage tracker if you travel when you teach and then a way to keep track of expenses in your studio, such as sheet music or instruments that you purchase. Now the Reports tab has several reports that are helpful. For example, this Income and, Ex income and Spending report is great for tax time. It shows you a breakdown of all of your income and expenses into categories and is, is really helpful at tax time. Another one of my favorite reports is the Daily Summary Report. And this shows you today's schedule, or whatever day you choose here. So for example, today, you can click the View Report, and it will show you that I'm teaching Kylie at 3 p.m. and Alyssa at 4 p.m., just two students today. But the nice thing about it is not just a schedule, it also shows the notes from last lesson. So I can remember what happened last time, and also what notes I wrote to myself about what I wanted to do next time with this lesson. And if the student owes any money, it will show that here, too. Now, a lot of teachers love to have this report emailed to them, and then they print it out every day and keep it by their instrument so they can just have a list right there 
of what they're doing today in their studio. It's a great report. And finally, the help menu up here. If you click video tutorials, you can watch video tutorials just like this one that cover just about every aspect of Music Teacher's Helper. And if you do have further questions, feel free to click the contact link and send us an email at any time. We respond to email very quickly. And if you have any questions or comments or other features you'd like to see in the program, we're very open to continuing to expand it and make it the most useful tool that it can be for managing your studio. So thank you for watching, and I'm sure that as you start to use Music Teacher's Helper, you'll see how, and, and be amazed at how much time it saves you in your studio. So thank you very much, and have a great day.